Honestly, I don't care if this shoe is sitting around on all the sneaker websites and in stores. This is definitely the sneaker of the fall for me. Let's talk about the Jordan 1 Low OG Mocha. What's going on everybody? My name is Blaze and Nico and we are back with yet another shoe review. I want to thank everybody that's tuning in to this video. All the new subscribers has really been a blessing. We're finally over one and a half percent of viewers actually being subscribed to the channel. If we can keep hitting that subscribe button and drive the algorithm and keep bringing attention to the channel, hit the like button, drop some comments, but let's get into it. The Jordan 1 Low OG Mocha released on September 21st for a retail price of $140. These released in a full family size run. Of course, you had men's all the way up to a size 18. You had GS pairs, grade school, you had preschool pairs, and you also had toddlers pairs as well. The Jordan 1 Low OG Mocha released in almost every sneaker store you can think of. All the retailers you're used to, Nike, the Nike sneakers app, it also released on the Nike, the regular white and black Nike app, released JD Sports, Finish Line, Champs, Foot Locker, you name it, your smaller stores, your Tier Zeros, Ama Minera, Social Status, all those type of stores. They were widely available and they dropped almost everywhere. You guys already know we always take a closer detailed look at the shoe up close and personal. As you can see, we have that mocha on the heel of the shoe. It does have that back and forth motion that we are used to on the mocha highs as well. You can see we have a little bit textured leather on the black Nike sign. About the same, it's more, it feels like more of a synthetic leather like regular Jordan 1 Low OGs. The toe box of the shoe is a little bit tumbled. Nothing super crazy, not a bad like a Nike Dunk type of leather. We have a white tongue, which is actually different from the highs. I think the highs also have the white tongue, but the tab of the shoe is a little bit different on the highs. I'll make sure to throw up some pictures, but very clean shoe. Such a very, very clean shoe. I know I'm repeating myself, but there's not much more to say about these. These are definitely a perfect fall shoe for sure. So Nike stuck with the theme of changing up the Jordan 1 boxes to the color of the shoe. So we do have that mocha on the Nike and the Nike sign, black Jordan box, Nike Jordan box. As we read that size tag, we have Air Jordan 1 Low OG in the sale, black and dark mocha. You know, they've been switching up the boxes and giving us more specific to the specific shoe, but nothing crazy on the box at all. So the revelation of the Jordan 1 High Mocha in 2021, when they released in 2022, they went for a crazy amount of money. A lot of people, you know, credit that to the Jordan 1 High OG and that Travis Scott colorway. They're saying that Travis Scott kind of brought everybody to the earth tones, neutral browns and everything for Nike and Jordan brand. And I don't think I can say I disagree with that. Definitely a, a shift in the community went to these color hues and these type of tones of shoes. But for some reason, you guys are letting these sit. The Jordan 1 High Mocha released during that COVID time during the Travis Scott hype, during a lot of things when people were buying sneakers for a lot higher prices. So I don't know if that mocha kind of just fit into that window of Jordan 1s being hype and Travis Scott earth tones. Either way, I think that this is a clean colorway. I'm sure with the success of the Jordan 1 high mocha, the Travis Scott colors in this dark mocha, mocha colorways, all these earth tones, I'm sure Nike thought that these would do great in terms on on the day of the release, but they're sitting everywhere. There's almost a full size run on Nike, Nike sneakers. You can almost go to any shoe store online, JD Sports, and you can find your size of these. Almost every single size is in stock. I'll make sure to throw up pictures here. I'm filming this on September 24th. So whatever day, it may be a little bit different from when you guys are watching this video, but it was a very widely available shoe and I mean, I did not expect them to sit like this. Such a clean shoe. It's a fall shoe. It just, September 22nd was the first day of fall. And I don't know, man, I would definitely recommend grabbing these while you can.
As I mentioned multiple times, Jordan 1 Low OG Mocha is sitting on almost every website. So when things are sitting, they're usually not doing well in the secondary resale market. If we take a look at Stock X, we're looking like 17, 10 to 17, 10 to 20 dollars under retail. Of course, with Stock X, you're gonna have processing fees, taxes, shipping. So it's gonna get you over that retail price eventually. Now, if we take a look at GOAT, GOAT is a little bit more from the jump to like 140, 145, you know, a little bit higher than the 140 retail on this shoe, but their fees are a little bit less. So I didn't do all the checkout stuff to see which one would be cheaper and more expensive, but you can find these on the regular sites for 140 and like nike they only do tax on top of their shoes they don't charge you shipping so it may be more economic to go grab them from nike fully for retail but you also can cross check with all the different resale markets as well no matter what these were doing in the market unless they were going for crazy prices i wasn't gonna buy some low top ones like this for anything way over retail but back in the day these went have went for so much money a low og in this mocha colorway i'm happy the landscape of the sneaker market is how it is right now i've been having a ball i've been grabbing all the shoes that i want grabbing shoes early grabbing shoes for retail you can get them afterwards for under retail it's just a crazy time in the sneaker market right now and this is a shoe i definitely would recommend for the price that it's sitting at right now hey they might i don't know if they're going to hit you know outlets and everything like that but for retail a Jordan 1 Low OG for 140 bucks. You can grab two pairs if you want to beat one up. It's it's just a very clean shoe, and I'm happy to add these and keep these in the collection. Obviously, with the state of the world, the state of the U.S., economic-wise, you know, not a lot of people are going out and buying a bunch of shoes. People are being a lot more picky, especially in the sneaker community. You know, sometimes just times are hard right now. You know, people are choosing to spend money otherwise or they're choosing to spend money on upcoming shoes, which I can understand, but this was a shoe on my list from when these, you know, debuted and when these rumored, this is a shoe that I knew I was grabbing for sure. As always, I want to thank you guys for tuning in to yet another one of my videos. If you made it all the way to this point in the video, put a coffee emoji underneath for the Jordan 1 Low OG Mocha. I want to thank you guys for everything. Like I said, within the last month, we're finally over that 1.5% of viewers actually viewing the channel which is a great thing it shows that people are actually sticking around and subscribing to the channel if you guys can continue to do that that would be an amazing blessing and until next time thank you guys